Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right triangle ABC with the side lengths 57 and 76 as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we have got this line segment BD that is perpendicular on this side AC. And now we are going to find the length of this line segment BD. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this number 76 that could be written as 19 times 4. And now let's focus on this number 57 that could be written as equal to 19 times 3. So therefore according to 3, 4, 5 right triangle postulate, a 3, 4, 5 right triangle is a triangle whose side lengths are in the ratio of 3, 4 and 5. As we can see over here we got 19 times 3. Here we got 19 times 4. Then according to this theorem we're going to have the other side this hypotenuse is going to be 19 times 5 and that is going to be equal to 95. So thus our side length AC turns out to be 95. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC with this side length AB is being our base and this BC as our this uh, height. As we can see our base AB is 76 and our height BC is 57. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. And here's the area of a triangle formula. Area of a triangle equals to a half time base time height. And let's go ahead and calculate the area. A equals to a half time base. In our case is 76. Time height is 57. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC once again. The only difference is this time our base is going to be this AC. That side is going to be our base. And this BD is going to be our height. This one. So our base AC is 95 and our height BD, we are going to find the value of that one. So let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC once again by using this base as 95 and height as BD. And here's the formula of triangle once again, area equals to a half time base time height. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the area is going to be equal to a half time base in our case is 95 times height in our case is BD. We are just going to write down. Now I'm going to go ahead and call this equation as number 2. And here's our final step. Now let's go ahead and compare equations 1 and 2. Here is our equation 1 and here is our equation 2. Since the left hand side are same A, so we can equate the right hand side as well. So thus I can write 1 over 2 times 76 times 57 equal to a half times 95 times B D. Now let's go ahead and solve this equation for B D. We want to remove these fractions on both sides. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 
2 this 2 and 2 is gone and on this side 2 and 2 is gone so we simply got 76 times 57 equal to 95 times B D and now we know that 76 is same as 4 times 19 likewise 57 is same as 3 times 19 and this 95 is same as 5 times 19 so therefore I can write them as 4 times 19 for 76 3 times 19 for 57 and 5 times 19 is 95 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 19 on this side and 19 on this side this 19 and 19 is gone and this 19 and 90 is gone as well and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5 in order to isolate BD and this 5 and 5 is gone so our this BD length turns out to be 228 divided by 5 so thus our length BD turns out to be a 228 divided by 5 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.